hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel um, in this video we will learn we will continue our web series aws for developers in the previous video we saw how we can work with aws code commit so in this video we will be seeing uh, and continuing the a beanstalk chapter and uh, we are we will see how we can deploy our code uh, to elastic beanstalk so this is our beanstalk application that runs uh, this is our application that actually runs on beanstalk and we have a repository uh, that actually holds our code um, so we will be calling that app as a hello world and uh, what we have done so far so we have created one more one user that actually able to push my, our code to our um, you can say uh, our our code commit so this is our environment actually so we'll be using this environment to deploy and update our code so this is our current application uh, you can see the content so we need to uh, push uh, the code to our beanstalk instance or you can say we need to deploy the, uh, the latest code to our beanstalk instances this is our python application uh, so we have the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, pull we need to add our code commit repository and the one thing which actually we required is build spec so this is our build sorry this is our build spec uh, so this is our build spec let me just zoom in so i hope this is visible so in uh, this is our build spec file that actually requires to deploy the code on uh, you can say deploy the code uh, or sorry build the code so this actually builds our code so since it's a python application and it does not requires too much steps to get built so what we have done we were just installing uh, pip uh, using requirements.txt and we are just we are doing this archive uh, so at the moment we don't uh, have any build command so we were just uh, using the sample command so this is overall uh, our template file in the build specs file we have phases uh, so we have two types of phases pre-build phase that actually uh, uh, that actually going to be run before the build step triggers so we have a build step and under the build we can run uh, commands so uh, in the pre-build step we will be running our uh, command that actually requires to build our application let's say if you have some steps to build your application uh, so you can define those steps over here and this is the place we, which actually you archive your uh, application build code the, the code you build uh, in in above steps you uh, you make an artifact and uh, so these artifacts can be used to the other branches so we already push our uh, uh, code to the master branch so if i navigate to the aws code commit so this is our repository so we can see we have a latest code over here so now the next step is we need to create a aws code pipeline so uh, so we, we would like to deploy this code on our beanstalk instance which is this so to do that uh, we need to go to uh, developer tools then uh, we need to go to the pipeline section so here we can we need to define the uh, we need to create a pipeline so here we can just name the project as uh, deploy deploy hello world so uh, we will be uh, saying that create a new role and we just clicking next so here we need to select the source from where we will be getting the code so our code will be getting from here uh, so our code is hosted on aws code commit so our repository name is this and our branch name is this uh, if we have other branches so we can define so change detection how we how we would like to detect the change um, so uh, we we choose a detection mode that actually automatically starts. So we will be saying uh, Amazon CloudWatch event or AWS. Uh, if we have any periodically execution of the pipeline, we can define. Uh, we can choose over here. But we will be going with the AWS CloudWatch event. So any change occurs uh, in the AWS repository, it will trigger a build. So uh, output or artifact format will be going with the code pipeline default. Uh, just click on the next now uh, if you have any build step so you can define 
over here so if you have uh, if you need to add jenkins if you have external jenkins you can define over here if you don't have so you can just use the aws code build so it requires the projects to be created if you don't have any projects so what you can do is you can uh, create from here very uh, on the fly so you can say the build hello world hello w and we will be saying manage environment will be would be managed image and operating system would be amazon to linux runtime would be standard image uh, we can we will be uh, choosing the latest image environment would be linux time if you wanted to run some privileged uh, commands you can choose from here but we are leaving it as a default uh, the role should be created by so here we can define our build spec file uh, by default it picks uh, build spec.yaml so uh, this file must need to be placed uh, in the root of the of your repository so continue the code pipeline so let me uh, show you so this is our build spec we just uh, we were just reviewing so uh, we just created a deployment group so we have a we, are, we created if you need to add some environment variable uh, you are passing to your pipeline you can create from here uh, but at the moment let it go now we need to choose the deployment where we need to deploy so there are things where, where we can deploy like ECS, ECS blue green and at the moment we are choosing the beanstalk so it will automatically list your application name and your environment name so we can just click on the next so this is uh, our pipeline so we can just click on the create so uh, there are things we need to focus on so once it is done so we will be seeing those steps so uh, just stop we can what we can do is we can just uh, stop execution We can say stop and abandoned. So that build has, has has been stopped and abandoned. So what we need to do is we need to uh, add it. So we need to add it that phase. Click on the added button. So under the added, we need to choose on added stage so here we need to choose the variable name and the artifact so these artifacts are critical for the next stage so whatever we define in output from the first stage it will be used on uh, the second stage as an input so we define output artifact over here as a uh, source artifact as a output artifact so in the next stage it will be the source so if we click on here so in in the source artifact we need to define source artifact so that is actually inheriting from the previous stage if you have more so you can define more but at the moment we have one and then we need to select the output artifact for this stage so we'll be calling that as a build artifact and then in in the deploy stage if we click on the edit so we need to choose the uh, output artifact from the previous stage as a source or as an input artifact and then uh, we can deploy to the environment so we just need to do that just save it and we can just retry that step so so this step is retried because we previously abandoned that step so we just execute it so if we click on the details button so it will tell us what is happening under this stage so we can click on the uh, phase details so it will tell us what is happening over here so submitted is a, the build is under is uh, still in, in the queue it will tell us the progress it is this is, phase is currently under the in progress state So queued it will take uh, 
it, it took 33 seconds to queued and now it's provisioning the build stage in this stage we will be uh, the code pipeline will be executing the commands that we defined in the build spec.yaml so in this file whatever we have written so this will be executed in this phase which actually the build phase so if we have more steps so we can define more steps over here so all those steps will be executed over here either it's pip or if any other uh, commands need to be executed to build your application code you can define from here so this is uh, actually uh, building uh, our code that took a little while uh, because it's it takes some time so we have to wait this is about to complete like it normally takes uh, three to four minutes to get it completed So this step has been successfully done now our application deployment is in is in progress uh, so uh, it will deploy our application code over here so uh, we have to wait once the code deployment is done So you can see our application code is successfully deployed with uh, and the place our latest code and from here we can see if we go on to the environment so we can see uh, new application version was deployed to EC2 instances it's just happened and if we go to our AWS code pipeline so we will see the pipeline is completed so it's just completing and removing all the required steps we just have to wait because our application is already deployed we we have verified from here that our application latest code is deployed so whatever whenever someone pushes the code to the master branch it automatically gets triggered so let's say if i made some changes in your application file so at the moment if uh, if i see my pipeline status so i would see it succeeded so let's say i updated some uh, i did some changes in application.yaml and i say copyright 2022 and i did add i did comment i did push so once i pushed it automatically gets triggered so whenever something happened in our master branch so it will trigger our build
so you can see it's in it becomes in in progress state so yeah that's it for this uh, video i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching